Charlie Sheen is has got to be on drugs again. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. What Some are, are saying that of? you're bipolar. I'm by winning. Hi guys, Laserbolt here and welcome back. Today we're going to be performing a little upgrade on my computer, uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while now. Um, I want to upgrade the heat sink and fan to something that's a little quieter. So I built this computer about a year ago. It's a Intel i7 8700 processor. It's got a GeForce RTX 2060 graphics card in it. Um, all put in a nice uh, Corsair carbide case, which is really nice. I, I've enjoyed that. Um, like I said, the, the fan and heat sink that I've been using is just the stock one that came with the Intel processor. And it's been working fine. That I haven't had any temperature problems whatsoever. But it is a little bit on the loud side. It just sounds like a cheap fan. And it is. If Intel is going to supply you with a free fan to go with their processor, you know, you can't expect it to be a super high quality one. Got the job done. I've got nice low temperatures. I haven't had any problem with that. So the good news is it's not that difficult or expensive to upgrade your CPU or heat sink. So uh, figured let's go ahead and do that today. I decided to go with this Noctua Chromax Black. It's really nice. Uh, got some good reviews. Noctua is generally known for having a very high quality, very good quiet performance on their fans. Um, I went with a nice low profile black one that will look nice inside of my case. Um, the, the inside of my case is nice and clean and it's not cluttered up with a bunch of stuff in there. And uh, so this will be uh, very nice. Uh, the black should go along with all the rest of it. I want to have a bunch of contrasting colors clashing with themselves or nothing. So I'm looking forward to go ahead and getting started on this project. Let's go ahead and install this fan. All right. This is the first time I've opened her up since I uh, built it. Happy to say it doesn't appear to be too dirty inside, so that's good. A little bit of dust in here. Oh, I guess that's worse than I thought. Well, I'm going to go ahead and clean this out really quick, and then we can go ahead and start uh, on the process of switching out this here fan. That's the one. One eternity later. Okay, I've got the computer laying down here flat on its back, and this will let me uh, easily remove the existing heat sink and fan. First thing you need to do is turn these little, little uh, fasteners on the side, all four of them. Turn them over here so the, the arrow is pointing in the right direction. And this uh, should allow us to just one at a time Pull these pins out and lifting straight up on this, you can remove the fan. All right, we'll go ahead and unplug this from the board. And there we go. Nice Intel fan. I'll stick that aside sometime if I ever need another one. It's uh, pretty noisy, so I'd have to be desperate, but yeah, might as well keep it. And there you go ready to be stored somewhere because I don't need it. And while we're cleaning, now is the time that we need to clean the remaining thermal paste off of our CPU. Go ahead and wipe it off nice and clean like that. It comes off pretty easy. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use just a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to get the remainder off of there, just a drop. On there. Okay, get this thing nice and clean. Alrighty. That should do it for that. Most cases nowadays will allow you to take off this back panel, and uh, once you do, there's a cutout in the back. It allows us to uh, get the screws in there that we're going to need on the other side to hold the fan in. And uh, so this way we won't have to take the entire motherboard out of the case. Uh, that could be a real pain. Uh, this makes it nice and simple. Okay, the next step is you want to apply the thermal paste to the project here. And uh, you just need to, you don't need a lot. And just put like a little pea-sized amount right in the center of it. That should be fine. There we go. Here's the new Noctua fan. Uh, it doesn't have any kind of a branding on the front of it or nothing like that, so I'm not going to worry about too much how it's oriented. Ordinarily, I would like to orient it so the sticker or whatever would be facing straight up and down. But there is none on this. Um, so, in that case, I'll just um, put it in here like this. 
That way the cable can reach the fan header nice and easily. And um, yeah, I'm gonna put it down here nice and flat on top of that. And then we're gonna have to lift the case up and put these screws in. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. That is on. I'm gonna flip this case up while trying to hold it at the same time so I can get those screws in the back of it. There we go. And look at that. We can get right into the back of it here. Get these screws in place. There we go. Put them in on opposite corners of each other. Helps it stay on nice and straight and make sure that it's coming down and evenly distributing that thermal paste across the entire chip. You don't need to tighten it down too much, but you do want it to be nice and solid. You don't want any space in between the heat sink and your CPU. And you want that thermal paste to get distributed nice and evenly on there. And there we go. I think that's just about done. All right. Now we just need to plug this header in here. Let's do that. This goes in that direction. Just go ahead and uh, slide it onto those prongs. And there you go. I think the uh, installation of this is complete. Let's go ahead and get the uh, covers put back on this and get it plugged in and fired up. Should be nice and quiet compared to how it was. Let's see, I'll give her a boot. Lighting up nicely, she's already spun up. That is completely whisper quiet. Hear that? If there's anything that you hear, it is not this one. It might be one of these. Although these fans in the Corsair carbide case, they're pretty good. I gotta say, I haven't had too many issues with any of them. As you can hear or not hear, they are pretty quiet. Yeah, okay, I really like that. This is good. I feel like that's gonna give me some good uh, cooling performance and it's gonna be nice and quiet. And it was a pretty simple operation. Just four screws is all I had to do. A little bit of thermal paste. Okay, I'm gonna slap the uh, the rest of this together and let's do some thermal checks here. Well, all right, we've got my desktop going on here and uh, my hardware monitor. You're seeing the CPU temperatures. They're hovering right around 33, which is great. Um, yeah, it's uh, lower than all of the rest of the temperatures on the board, which is a good sign. Um, let's go ahead and put this thing under a little bit of a load. I'm gonna fire up Red Dead Redemption 2 and play it for a little bit and uh, let's see how high these temperatures go. Okay, I've been running around in Red Dead 2 for about a half hour now and the temps are hovering right around the 51 to 53 degrees Celsius range, which is great. Uh, as a general rule of thumb, you don't want it to go too much higher than 70 or so. All right, that worked out pretty good. It only took a few minutes and uh, made all the difference in the world. That thing is whisper quiet now. I can barely hear it. So that solved the problem I had, and I'm very happy with the, uh, the product that I bought. So guys, I had a lot of fun today. I always enjoy tinkering around with electronics and stuff like that, and that was, that was a pretty simple project. I've got a uh, very cool video coming up in about a week or so. Stay tuned. It's going to be something a little bit different and uh, it's something I've got coming in the mail and I can't wait to get it, it's really gonna be cool. I just ordered it last night and uh, yeah, there's definitely gonna be a video made about that. I'll let you know when it comes in, you'll see. Until then, go ahead and enjoy this 3D printed X-Wing. It turned out pretty cool. Little model I found on Thingiverse. Prints out in two parts and you glue them together and uh, when it's all done, you got yourself a neat little X-Wing. Sorry right, guys, I'm gonna get going and you guys have yourself a nice week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.